I want to tell you a little story. Let's say a personal physician is a devout believer. Let's call him John. Several years ago, in the sweltering month of August, John and his wife got back from shopping. John believed that his wife had retrieved the newborn infant son from the car seat. His wife believed John had brought the child in and put him in the crib. Tired from the day, the parents took a two-hour nap. In the backseat of their car, in a 103 degree heat and sweltering interior temperatures, their baby literally cooked for over 120 minutes. It's unimaginable. They made a horrific discovery and rushed their son to the hospital as soon as they could. After hours in extensive care, the infant died, and the parents were brought up on charges for child neglect, which overcame after a two year legal battle. God is omniscient and omnipotent. He saw this go down, and he did absolutely nothing. Yet even today, John continues to ask to pray for his patients after their doctor visits. He pays homage and gives reverence to the very God who failed to intervene on behalf of his helpless child. If you asked him why, I wonder if John would simply say that God works in mysterious ways or God used this to strengthen his faith. Even after this pointless tragedy, John requires no proof. His God gives him comfort. His God is a loving God. His God must have a reason for allowing his helpless baby to perish. Instead of questioning his belief system, John has found a way to be comforted by the very deity that ignored him.